It's Dirty Story Night. We have reached first place in our Nickelodeon month. This is a brand new competitor. The story is called Matt Dug In. You will hear that story very, very shortly as soon as I tell you about IABD Presents. Dot com, our parent network, it's all been number sense, which has all kinds of podcasts, rent work, video series, and more. You're probably tired of hearing me talk about it, but the fact of the matter is, there keeps being new programming, and you gotta go check it out. Um, one podcast we have that comes out every other week is Marianne's Macabre Movie Reviews. Marianne knows all things horror. She's reviewing new movies. She's comparing them to international versions when they're American remakes. She's doing marathons of popular series. She's telling you what's good about horror, what's not so good, what's done right, what's done wrong. Marianne has all kinds of friends to help her out. That's a really good podcast, Marion's Macabre Movie Review. You can get that through ibdpresents.com. You can also follow us on social media at ibdpresents. And lastly, if you like our programs, yeah, this is free, but isn't it worth 99 cents? Seriously, for the month, that buys you four or five episodes. Head to patreon.com slash iabd and donate. A dollar or two helps us out. Ten dollars, you get all kinds of cool stuff. So please check that out. Now enjoy Dirty Story Night. Hi, my name is Carl. I'm going to read to you a very, very dirty story. Thanks, audience. Oh, hello, Skeeter. Hello, Douglas. Doug and Skeeter turned around, watching Mr. Dink as he jogged toward the sidewalk. Oh, hey, Mr. Dink, said Doug. What's the matter? I've been working on something in my shed, Mr. Dink said, and I could use your help. Skeeter and Doug shared a glance. Well, we were going to play some Xbox. (laughs) They ventured towards the funny household, but Mr. Dink grabbed each of their shoulders. I think you boys should really check this out. Sure, we've got a few minutes, said Doug. They followed Mr. Dink. Inside the shed, they saw the usual collection of self-nailing nails, designer grills, hovering lawnmowers, but also a couple of chairs... In the back, underneath a single light. It's a fantastic game I think both of you will enjoy. And have wanted to for a long time as well. Have a seat! Doug and Skeeter hopped into the chairs. Restraints suddenly snaked their way around their limbs. Oh hey, it's like a roller coaster! (laughs) Said Skeeter. Oh, you're in for a wonderful ride, Skeeter! Said Mr. Dink. He dropped his pants and whipped out his unusually large purple cock. Damn, Mr. Dink, why do you need self-nailing nails when you've got a hammer like that, said Doug. (laughs) Great question, Douglas. Why not let me hammer your throat for a bit so you can find out? (laughs) I've always dreamed of this, said Doug. He opened wide. Mr. Dink approached. Doug added... I thought you'd never... (laughs) Mr. Dink's cock disappeared into Doug's throat, then plunged in and out, a piston firing at maximum power. With all six of Doug's hairs in his hand, Mr. Dink slammed his throbbing member deeper and deeper. Wow, Doug, said Skeeter, you've never throated me like that before. (laughs) said Doug (laughs) hey Mr. Dink do you think I could get fucked relentlessly by your purple people eater Skeeter asked the words were barely out of his mouth when Mr. Dink clapped twice and Skeeter's chair dipped forward I call this the auto lubing probe Skeeter felt a warm squirt on his anus followed by a probing poke ready to go little buddy I think so. Let me just... Oh, God! Said Skeeter. Mr. Dink thrust his cock into Skeeter. (laughs) Went, Skeeter. (laughs) Doug watched in envy as Mr. Dink gaped Skeeter's elastic asshole over and over again, only feeling satiated when Mr. Dink allowed him the honor of sniffing one of Mr. Dink's farts. How's that taste, Doug, said Mr. Dink. Way better than Judy's pussy. All three men nodded in agreement. Judy's pussy tasted like a rank nuclear waste facility filled with rotting lizard corpses. 
When Mr. Dink finally blew his load, it showered over Doug and Skeeter, a super soaker of semen, a geyser of goo, a cornucopia of cum. Gee, Mr. Dinks, said Doug as he rubbed the incredible quantity of ejaculate from his eyebrows. What are you doing tomorrow? Why, fucking your father, Douglas! We've had a 3 p.m. for years! The shed fell silent. Then, all three burst into hysterical laughter. Well, see you boys tomorrow, said Mr. Dink. He turned off the light, locked the door, and left them strapped into the chairs. It's All Been Done presents... Who's Got the Time?